Most marketing is so agenda driven. Have you noticed? Marketers are trying to get you to engage with their videos and to then subscribe to their email list and then to buy their thing. And because marketing is so agenda driven, we think that we have to be agenda driven when we're doing marketing too. Well, gosh, why am I even doing this activity if it's not going to build my business? So therefore, I'm going to think of this video as making you engage and therefore then you might subscribe and you might buy and all that stuff. I'm going to invite you to let that all go. I'm going to suggest that if we can, if we're willing to hold loosely to our agenda, in our marketing and instead focus on embodying our deeper values in our marketing and showing up that way that the marketing will take care of itself. How do I know this? Well, it's worked for me amazingly over the past couple years. Once I stopped with all that agenda driven marketing, Five years ago, I decided to just show up and say, I am showing up to explore what I'm actually trying to say, explore my message, and I'm also showing up to serve. I'm showing up to, to be as in much service as I can to my audience. Showing up for exploration and showing up for service. And therefore, it's authentic. The exploration is I'm really curious, I'm really interested in what's going to come out of my mouth, what's going to be written uh, from my, my heart and my mind. And in service, I really want to see how I can help you. And which means, of course, I, I started to get to know my audience better. And as I got to know my audience better, that understanding of them naturally is built into my videos and my writings. And so showing up with the deeper values for me was authenticity and service, compassion and generosity and showing up in, in for, for that reason, not because, oh, I hope if I make this many videos, I will get this many clients. No. Showing up with our deeper values and letting the results take care of themselves. Now, Somebody would say, well, George, how do I control how many clients I'm going to get if I let, hold loosely to an agenda? Let, let, if, I, if I stop trying to control the process, how do I know I'm going to get 10 clients by the end of the month? Or I'm going to get, make six figures by the end of the year? How do, how do I know that? Here's how you know. Based on past experience, if you show up authentically and, and let the results take care of themselves. So most people in business, when they learn business, they stress themselves out with fantastical goals and timing. So I'm going to make six figures by in 12 months or whatever stupid timings, honestly, uh, or I'm going to get this many clients and, and you know, by, by the end of this month or whatever, that is Fine, only if that has been your past experience. I notice if I do these five things, I tend to get five clients based on previous experience, then great. Then you can reasonably expect that if you do those five things again, you're probably going to get five clients or somewhere around there. That's great. But when you're first starting to do something, when you're, when you're getting clients for the first time or when you're getting to the next level of your business, it's new. And so what you need to trust is divine timing. You need to trust the organic process of how your business interacts with the market at this time. And then notice, oh, if I show up, again, the focus is to show up frequently enough as your best self with your deeper values. What is that for you? I would love to know. Is there one word that you can organize the feeling of your showing up with. What's the one word? You know, for me, that one word might be, well, as you can imagine, authenticity, right? Authentic business is sort of what I've been saying a lot. So authenticity might be that one word or service might be a word. 
or, or if I would even aspire to the word love. Could, could it be that I could aspire to that word love to be that one word and how I show up? So show up with your deeper values, okay? Then notice what the organic results are so then you can plan around those organic results to make things a bit more predictable. But don't stress yourself out or blame yourself or become inauthentic by forcing certain numbers in your business. Hold loosely to agenda and what you can control is today are you embodying your deeper values. I'll end with a couple quotes. Um, Seek first the kingdom of God and all else will be given to you, said Jesus. And Bhagavad Gita says, uh, to action alone do you have a right and not never at all to the fruits of action. So instead of focusing on the fruits of action, basically it says focusing on your action. That's what you have a right to. Focus on your action, showing up with your deeper values and let the results take care of themselves. I hope this is helpful. I wish you joyful action going forward.